Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make an RV featuring a pretty cool and extensive interior as well with a kitchen, dining room, bedroom, wardrobes and a full bathroom. Begin by placing a black concrete on the ground and place two smooth stone slabs in front of it. One, two. Behind it, place eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Place a black concrete behind that with two smooth stone slabs behind that. One, two. Then, on the inside of the base of the RV, add three rows of smooth stone extending across, like this. Place black concretes opposite where we placed the original black concretes and join them all together using smooth stone slabs. The end result should be this. Okay, so we're going to begin by placing white concrete on the two front corners of the RV. That can be either side at the moment, but you're going to have to choose. Place blast furnaces in between the white concrete. Place a row of white stained glass pane across the top of all of these blocks. What we then want to do is add another row of white stained glass pane on top. Can be a little tricky for us controller users. And then extend the upper white panes backwards by one row. Okay, so we are going to be working on the front face of the vehicle. What this means is that this is the side of the vehicle that everything is going to be on. So the door and fancy windows and stuff. Both sides aren't the same, so you're going to want to choose a side. It literally can be this one or that one. So, when you figured out that, we are going to extend the white concrete block that we have on this side of the vehicle backwards by two. One, two. Leave a gap. And in front of this gap, you can even mark it out by placing a polished black stone stairs. But on the opposite side, we want to place a white concrete and then extend a white concrete forwards and to the left like this. Extend that white concrete to the left by four. One, two, three, four. Place a white concrete on top of the frame, so inwards and to the left. And then once again, we want to place one that is towards us and to the left. Extend left by four. One, two, three, four. And then place a white concrete block on the frame. Extend it across and then copy what we have over there onto here. So I'm not sure whether you guys may have seen these, but this is based on an RV that has expanding walls. They exist and they're very cool. You might want to look it up. They're actually really awesome looking. So, now that we have done this, we are going to start adding some more details. And once again, we're going to start on the main side. So, on top of the white concrete here, we simply want to place a couple of black concretes. On this singular white concrete, another black concrete. We want to have a black concrete on the ends of the extended out section with glass pane in between. On top of this little single white concrete, a black concrete. We want to have the same window configuration for the back extending part of the vehicle. Black concrete all along the back of the vehicle. And then on the sides, it's sort of similar, except we want to have smaller windows. So we just want to have a single white stained glass pane on top of the center of the extended sides and an additional glass pane opposite where the door is over there. And then it's as easy as adding black concrete everywhere else in between. So these windows, the reason that they're a bit smaller is because of the interior. You'll find that out a little bit later on when we're making it. So the next thing that we have to do, and this is rather easy as well, and it's also an optional choice, extend up every single black concrete that we've got. Just add an extra single black concrete everywhere that we've already got one. So all along the back, all along the sides, you guys know how to just add an extra one on top, I'm sure. There we go. Perfect. 
So, the next thing that we want to do, and again, optional, you might want to connect everything together with polished blackstone stairs above the extended parts. It's, it's essentially like where all the windows and doors are. I like this in one way because it sort of accentuates the interesting parts of the RV, like it, it sort of draws the attention to these parts. But also, it doesn't look as clean because it's a slightly different shade of black. So, you know, it's up to you whether you want to keep it. I don't mind it. I sort of like it. Uh, I'll leave the decision up to you. So, for the extended parts of the RV, okay, the parts that are stuck out, I want to place for the roofs of these particular parts, I want to have two rectangular layers of uh, smooth quartz stairs for the roof parts of the extended parts. That sounds weird as it's coming out of my mouth, but I think that I'm saying the right thing. So, I mean, you guys can hopefully see what we're doing here. We just want to have... Basically, the extended parts have a different looking roof than the rest of the RV. It's once again accentuating those parts and... Um, basically just break up the build a little bit instead of it just being a giant rectangle. There we go. The rest of the roof of the RV is going to be smooth quartz slabs. So this is the cab. I guess you might call this the cab. That's where you actually drive it. Um, this is the same thing for the separations between the RV as well. So here and here. And that's all there is to it. On the back, there's going to be a little antenna, so you might want to flare up any one of these smooth quartz into a solid block. And there we go. So, the roof for the back part of the RV, I'm going to fill in. Because there's going to be like a bathroom and stuff below us, it doesn't make sense that they'd have a skylight. Because we want to be able to get up on top of here. We don't want to be looking down at somebody whilst, you know, they're on the toilet. That's a little bit weird, so we're not doing that. This front part, however, we are going to make just a giant skylight by adding some white glass block. Easy peasy. Looks pretty good. We want to also have a way to get up on top of the roof. So the way for that is to have a couple of stairs here in the middle separation between the two extended parts. And we'll have a set of ladders run up here and we'll be able to climb up on top of the roof. Next part, we've got a lot of little details to add. So, acacia buttons, buttons, lever, tripwire hook, light grey carpet, iron trap door, string, white carpet, red carpet. So let's start with the acacia buttons. We are placing them on the sides of the front and back of the vehicle. There's really not too much more to it. They sort of look like indicators, but they also, or turn signals, whatever, but that it, it just adds a little something to the build. The buttons, the regular stone buttons, serve a couple of purposes. Number one, for the wheels which we have two sets of them, as you might expect. <laughs> one on the front and one on the back. And then I also want to place stone buttons on the lower parts of the extended parts of the vehicle as well, because I think it just looks a little bit better. I also, on specifically only the front face of the vehicle, I want to place trip wire hooks off of the sides of the uh, Blackstone stairs. I'm also going to use iron trap doors and I want to have these as kind of like shutters for the windows so that, you know, when people are trying to sleep and what have you, those would theoretically be able to flip down and then everybody can have a good night's sleep. Above the tripwire hooks and the stone, or rather, not the stone, there we go. Above the tripwire, I'm going to have to crouch for that again. Above the tripwire hooks and the iron trap doors, we are going to want to have a canopy. So this is alternating, and feel free to change this into a colour that's more pleasing for yourself. I'm going to have alternating white and red carpet, because I think that it goes with the black. Like black, white and red, perfect. But honestly, any colour would go with black and white. You could literally choose any. And we're going to place... A couple of rows of string, it's kind of up to you how many, quite honestly. A couple of rows of string in front of this, and then we are going to have uh, the canopy just extend. And that's all there is to it. So here, 
and then white carpet, white carpet, here, 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 destroy that. So, really, uh, two or three is going to be my limit. Uh, you can have it extend as far as you like, though. Like, there's no logical reason why, because of course it's a canopy, like, you could extend it as far as you like. You could even connect it down to the ground on the corners if you want to. We may experiment with that. We have to have a wing mirrors on the sides of the camper, or the RV. I suppose it's both, really. And these are made using levers with light grey carpet thrown on top of them. And it's basically just on the sides of the windows there, like where you've got the extra black concrete. And honestly, this is looking pretty good so far. On the top of the camper, we're going to have a couple of sunbeds. So this is made uh, by placing red and white carpet. Uh, we should probably change that a little bit. So this is made using like red and white carpets like this. And then we'll have a little table here and chairs. Um, so just a couple of sunbeds. I mean, you could even have them placed the other way as well. Like you could have them placed like this alternate them a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Um, let's grab some different stuff now then. So, glow item frame, red concrete, ladder, iron bars, daylight sensor, scaffolding, and rod red bed, flower parts. So, a couple of scaffolding on the back here. And we want to place on the side of this a couple of end rods stacked on top of each other. And then red concrete all the way around the top of the end rod. And then, once again, keeping with the theme of white and red. Then we're going to have beds stacked all the way around there. And then just something on top of the end rod. Um, does a daylight sensor go up there? That's perfectly fine by me. Daylight sensor can go up there, no problem. I'm even going to add a strip of daylight sensors, probably two rows of them, on top of this part of the open, uh, open part of the camper. Because there's no real other place to put them, and I think that adds a cool detail. Like, I, I quite like it. An iron bar wants to go on top of the sticky up part of the uh, quartz that we placed earlier. Uh, perhaps a couple of flower pots here, maybe even here, just to kind of like show people are like drinking and stuff. I mean, you can add different, um, I mean, uh, a glow item frame sort of, I mean, to me, sort of looks like a tablet. So you could certainly do that and you could throw glass in there, but I think it's actually fine by itself. Speaking of glow item frames, I want to use two of these at the front. That just looks like headlights. And I have regular item frames or glow item frames at the back and throw in some red concrete and boom, there you've got brake lights. Again, a little bit of detail. What else can we do with these materials? Well, we have to add the ladders. Those are for the sides of the vehicle there. You can see that allows us to climb up. And I want to add ladders in front of the blast furnaces also, just like this. And what else can we do with these materials, ladies and gentlemen? There's probably some stuff, but... Um, oh, we let's let's just grab. Okay, so we need smooth quarter stairs, and we're going to use grey carpet. I, we could even maybe use an iron trap door. We'll see. Um, and we just want to have a couple of, uh, of chairs just opposite this table here. Having a hard time placing placing them. I'm going to be honest. There we go. And then on top of this uh, iron bar here, an iron trap door or a grey carpet. I'm liking the iron trap door, actually. I'm quite happy with that, so that looks pretty good. Outside here, I'm actually going to just grab the remaining materials that we'll need for the outside. They're not vastly different, but my inventory's full, so I'm going to clear out and come back with some fresh materials. So, we're going to start off with some black terracotta, and I want to make a little hot tub outside of the RV. Now, this wouldn't in real life, you know, this is Minecraft, but logically, in real life, it wouldn't be a real one. It'd be like a blow-up one. So, it's going to be 4x4 four four using the black glazed terracotta. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, join it together. I'm adding some shroom light to the bottom, just because I kind of like how it looks, and then water inside. And boom, there you go. Uh, some smooth quartz stairs placed strategically, so two sideways ones on the left and right, with a regular facing one in the middle, just like just looks like some steps. And then we can have a couple of flower pots, maybe even some scaffolding on the side. And I think it looks really cool, and it kind of keeps with our color scheme. So, also outside here, I'm going to throw down a campfire, so maybe about here, and also just another scaffolding, and the scaffolding kind of works as like, 
like a stair can go here and then here. I want to use oak trap doors on these sides just to make them look a little bit more like camping chairs. Um, you could also not have quartz stairs. You could have something that would look a little bit more like, you know, fabric. Uh, a lantern on top of the table would look good. Um, and we can even now grab, so we've already got the campfire down, so cobblestone slab, stone pressure plate, jukebox, chest, shovel, white concrete, black concrete, leather, and armor stands. And all we're going to do is, on the sides of the campfire, this is my favorite way to decorate a campfire, it's so easy. A couple of cobblestone slabs, a couple of stone pressure plates, boom. I think that that looks just great. So easy, so simple. Um, somewhere along the back here, maybe even next to the campfire, maybe even a little bit closer to here. I don't know if this is a good spot for it, but a chest and a jukebox. And now it just looks like everybody's having a good time. That's all, that's all this is. If you wanted to add like a proper grill out here, you could. I like to imagine that the campfire is being used and there's also a kitchen in the side. So, I don't know, feel free to add like a little barbecue. I might even do that, we'll see. So... Um, all we're gonna do now, and I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to mess this up too bad, but I'm just going to use, uh, a shovel just to create a little bit of grass path. And we might even at the very end, like, just shovel this out a little bit more, add some pods, I'll add some gorse dirt and stuff, but I just want to kind of, like, disturb the ground a little bit. I don't want to add too much of a texture to the ground, though, as well. Like, uh, I'm quite happy with just the grass path. But I don't want to make it look all dirty and stuff, so I'm, I'm just quite happy with just this effect. And there we go, that's the outside. So now we can head inside, and we've got plenty to do in here. So, with the materials that we've got, we can grab the smooth quartz stairs, leather, we can grab black concrete, white concrete, armor stand, trip wire hook, red banner, and I don't think we need anything else, but we'll see. So we kind of have to make the cab area. So we're going to have a couple of seats in the cab area with a lever in the front. And that is just going to look like a gear shift. Um, if you want to have something that looks like a steering wheel, a an end rod with a note trap door on top of it. So it looks like a steering wheel. That sort of looks like a gear shift. And that sort of looks like somebody's just sat there. Oh, that's a, that's for a passenger, I should say. So we're going to connect this area together. So this is going to be the cab. It's going to be a bit more private. A couple of white concretes across the back here with black concretes in between. And maybe stick um, like an upside down quartz stairs at the top with like a red bang banner hanging off of it. And then it kind of just makes like the other two parts private and then the driver can just be driving. So I'm going to have an armor stand here with a tripwire hook next to it. And I don't know why, it just looks like something that should be there. Don't ask me why the armor stand or the tripwire hook's there. I like to imagine, I, I don't know why it's there, but I, it just seems like good decoration. It seems right, so I'm going to keep it. As we come into the actual, like, first part, the, uh, first part of the motorhome here, the RV, uh, we can start making the kitchen area. And for the kitchen, we're going to need blast furnace, cauldron, detector rail, tripwire hook, white shulker, polished blackstone stair, end rod, black concrete, and that might be... Oh, the weighted pressure plate too. So, starting from right to left, literally just want to place blast furnace, cauldron. Oh, we'll also need like, um, I mean, either a black concrete, grey concrete, something like that. Uh, and then next to this, we'll probably swap that. Maybe for, maybe we'll even place like a white shulker. And then left of this, we want to place like a black concrete, extend it up to the ceiling, upside down polished blackstone stairs at the bottom, tripwire hook above, black concrete above that. And then we want to have an end rod in the middle. So this is a fridge. This is kind of just like a cupboard slash unit. I think we can place a pressure plate. We can't place a pressure plate on top, that's fine. Um, but we do want to have a couple of white shulker boxes above as well, with like a polished blackstone stairs above that. Above the blast furnace, a detect rail above the sinker trip wire hook. And this is both like a cupboard and also a work surface. And then at the back here, we want to have a little table. So this can be made using smooth quartz stairs and scaffolding again. Like a couple of scaffolding, smooth quartz stairs either side. There you go. It, it doesn't need to get more complicated than that. 
We can have a little lantern in here. We can have a pot. Easy peasy. Looking pretty good. So, I just want to kind of... Uh, I, I can make some of uh, what we need uh, at the back part of the, uh, at the RV here. But uh, we just need to grab... We'll start off... We just need the black and white concrete first of all. Then we'll grab everything else. So, there's a door... There is a doorway that is parallel to the doorway at the front. And we just want to seal up the back of the RV by placing a couple of rows of white concrete and a couple of rows of black concrete like this. I think that we're actually going to leave... We're not going to place anything at the top here, though. We're just going to leave it like... Actually, I think we will. We'll probably have the same design as the front because it's a bedroom. So, um, I mean, you might even want to use, like, an actual door. But I, I don't... I want it to feel a little bit more open than that. So something like this I actually like a little bit better. Uh, but feel free to use a door. There's a bathroom back here, so we're going to leave a gap of one, and then we're going to have a row of three white concrete, and two rows of black concrete on top. And then this is going to be a little bedroom, as I've mentioned, so um, we can have... We can use uh, the armor stand and the oak trap doors because there's going to be a cupboard. So armor stand here on the right, just right at the very back, and a couple of oak trap doors stacked on top of each other. Um, we can even have a lantern kind of like stuck in the corner here. And then we've just got like enough room for a bed, maybe even like a little side unit or something. But inside of here, this is the bathroom area. This is where uh, we've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff crammed in. So we need the cauldron for this. Um, we need the trip by hook. We need the upside. We need the uh, smooth quartz stairs. So here, literally just around this corner, we're going to have a cauldron with an oak trap door above it. Right of this, an upside down smooth quartz stairs with a trip wire hook above that. And then we need some glass for this and we need some different stuff. But we can destroy this smooth stone here, place an oak trap door. And... Uh, we can also have an end rod hanging down from the ceiling. And we... Oh, we can even have a lever here as well. So this is going to be the shower. And there's not really too much more that we can add in the ways of detail. But we need so few materials. I'm just going to dump all of these out and I'll grab what I think we need. So we're going to start off by placing an iron trap door underneath this end rod. And then some white stained glass paint up the left side here with a white stained glass pane just extending across and here we have just a little shower where the water would run out of the bottom we have a sink and we have a toilet nice little easy bathroom and by the way i'm also going to leave this open because it's kind of like around the corner here i like the fact that it's a bit open um we're going to have a bed inside here as well this is going to be just underneath where the lantern is and this is a cupboard, so this is quite easily made using a couple of spruce uh, spruce doors. So we'll place that one there, open that one, and then we can just flip a couple of spruce trap doors down. And then we've got a cupboard with kind of like a... I mean, it's a wardrobe, essentially. Uh, we've even got enough room to stick a chest on the end here. If you wanted to add a bunk bed, which it seems a little bit weird to me, so I'm not going to do it, but we could have a bunk bed by adding another bed up here. Um, but I'm quite happy with this. If you want to add a painting, that one's fine. That's good too. We could even have a painting. No, we can. I mean, we can, but I, d I, d I don't see the point. I don't want to add any clutter into the bathroom. So I'm going to head into the kitchen area once again. I'm going to add bookshelves left and right of the just the little chill out area here. And then some spruce trap doors just across the top here. Kind of looks like a shelf. And that's it. That's that's the RV, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing else to it. We've, it's done. Oh, except for a door. Boom. And that's it. I hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.